G'day, I'm Cam, and today I'm gonna to show you how to find those big chunky files on your computer taking up all of your hard drive space. Now I mean your computer. I've got you covered if you've got Windows, Mac, Linux, Chromebook. I've got one for everybody. There's no exclusions here, so make sure you stay tuned. Now, getting straight into it, if you ask a nerd how to search and find these big files, I'll probably give you a search syntax like this or a parameter for your advanced search like that. And whilst that works, it's clunky and it's not really easy to remember when you want to find these files. What we're gonna look at today are programs that give you a tree map display of your file structure, a visual representation, as well as a key code for each file type. This is gonna scrape your entire hard drive or selected directory to tell you where the big files are, depending on how big the squares are. It's super simple and it's been reproduced on Windows, Mac, Linux, and Chromebook. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we have the program. This is called WinDirStat, Windows Directory Statistics. Now this is obviously the Windows version. On a Mac, it's called Disk Inventory X. On Linux, it's QDirStat. And on a Chromebook, use the Android app Disk Usage. All these apps operate in a pretty much identical way. So you can either scrape all of your drives, an individual drive, or a specific subdirectory. What we're gonna do is just scrape one of my drives. This is my media drive. Hit OK, and what you're gonna see is little Pac-Man's gonna go munching about, finding all the bits and bytes in every folder. Once he goes and searches and scrapes every directory, you're gonna get this visual representation down the bottom. Now, that was live time. That was one terabyte, but it was a solid state drive. Here I can click around and instantly find out what are the big files on my computer. So here we've got a stack. This is all of the one file type, depending on the color, and we can see that Call of Duty is taking up oh, fire, 180 gig on that drive. So Call of Duty is taking up a huge amount of space right here on my computer. If I wanted to clear up that, I could uninstall the game. There's another big chunk here. This is Pavlov, another game. So pretty much I use this drive for games. So I wouldn't be surprised if, yeah, Apex. All these big chunks are games. Down here though, what's interesting is we've got a big one in the recycle bin. So just remember to always empty your recycle bin because, well, that can free up a stack of space. Now, the reason why this program jogged back into my memory this week was because I got that dreaded notification on my phone to say that I'm out of cloud storage. My OneDrive is full and I need to delete some files. So I went into my OneDrive, I started searching for file types, MP3, MP4s, and trying to find something specific to delete or move, and I couldn't really narrow it down. And then I remembered this application or application type is perfect for that. So what we can do is just go back into file, open, and pick a direct subdirectory. So I'm just gonna scrape only my OneDrive. So if I scrape just my OneDrive, it's gonna go through and recreate that file structure. And once we've got that, then we're going to know exactly where the big files are. Okay, so my OneDrive looks a lot more interesting. Here we can see we can go by file type. So CR2 files, those are raw from my camera. I've got 90 gig of them. MP4 files, they're coming up in red. JPEGs are coming up in green. QuickTime, so I can straight away find where a certain file type is and what folders they're from. So let's look at these ones. Here's a stack of raw photos. If we scroll up, that's from Disneyland when I was in Paris in Europe last year. Okay, now I know if I want to get back 63 gig from my OneDrive, I can simply move all of these photos from Europe somewhere else and maybe back them up not on my cloud storage. Another big chunky files here are these video files from when I was in Perth, once again from my GoPro. So I've got some files that I can get rid of. And if you click on them, you can open it up, review what it is. Okay, so that makes sense. This is a shipwreck that I was snorkeling around. It's a pretty good clip to still keep, so, but does it need to be backed up onto my cloud storage? Probably not, so I could move that off. That allows me to know all other MP4 files like it. Now, where you need to be really careful with these programs is on your system drive. So if I opened up and scraped my C drive, let's just set that one now, it's going to find system files. So you might have big files like your page file or other system directories, which are required for your computer to actually work. So if you delete them, you're gonna have a really bad time. So let it scrape whatever drives you have. If you only have one, it's gonna scrape only that. And then go through and actually look at the file type, what it is. Is it an MP4? Is it a JPEG? Is it a document that you're able to easily ascertain what it is? then you can delete it or move it somewhere else. Don't start deleting files that you don't understand like a .bat or a .cab or just anything that you don't understand what it is because it's just, you just don't want to touch it. 
Here's an example of that page file. They are two massive things, but they are system files. Do not touch them. Only touch stuff that you know are either audio or video that you have obtained. Now, if you are on a Mac, Inventory X is not from the App Store, so you will need to click the Help button and manually install the program. But once you've done so, you can then scrape your hard drive and get the full view with the file structure and all of the color-coded keys. Now, if you don't want to do that, you can go straight to the App Store and buy Grand Perspective. You can also download for free with the manual installer too and it will give you that visual representation and tell you in the bottom left corner where the file is. If you liked today's video give it a thumbs up down below and if you loved it consider clicking subscribe. I make tech videos every week and some of them are tips like today especially how to clean your USB-C port which is coming up on the screen. It stops you from wiggling and jiggling your cable and charging your phone like new again. There's also a suggestion coming up here from YouTube as Pan picked straight for you. Hope you have a great rest of your day or night, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this video. And look forward to seeing you back here again next week when I unveil my secret keyboard macros for boosting your productivity. All right, that's it. See ya.